Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, we started off a bit cool this morning in some spots, but we certainly have rebounded since then. A lot of sunshine here as I take a live look from our Harrisburg Skycam, and we're starting to see those numbers climb already into the 80s in Harrisburg. 81 officially. Dew points are coming up a bit as well. Right now, still on that borderline comfy range, but we'll see these numbers climbing a bit more, and it will turn a bit sticky for us here later on this afternoon and into this evening. So adding one degree on to the heat uh, index or what it feels like outside when you factor in that dew point or humidity level. Right now we're already at 83 in Lancaster, 83 in Carlisle as well. Still in the 70s as you go up into some of our northern counties and not seeing any rain on radar yet. A couple of clouds uh, across our eastern counties and a few more clouds back farther north and west as we track this cold front that is trying to make its way across Pennsylvania. Now that front may try to trigger a very stray shower later this evening, uh, but I wouldn't count on it. In fact, I think most areas will stay dry. Most areas probably uh, mainly sunny or maybe a mix of clouds and sunshine later today and a warm day too. mid 80s and in, in many spots here this afternoon. Now tonight we'll start to see those uh, clouds trying to break up a bit, partly cloudy skies and staying on the comfortable side. The humidity will drop again and it will set up a nice Saturday and nice start to the Labor Day weekend for us tomorrow. 80 for that high temp, mostly sunny and pleasant. Of course, uh, definitely uh, more of an active situation in the tropics and here is Hurricane Dorian. The latest update, the 11 o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center coming in with a category two storm. Now the storm itself is starting to get better organized and it very well possible we could be talking about a major category three hurricane by the end of today. So the eye is begin, be, beginning to become uh, more apparent here and the structure of the storm just looks healthier and we'll continue to probably see that as it is moving into an environment that is favorable for more intensification. In fact, the National Hurricane Center uh, making that uh, jump to a cat three at some point either today or overnight and then perhaps even a cat four as we go into and through the holiday weekend. Now not looking good for the east coast of Florida here at this point as uh, most model projections are taking Dorian right into the eastern coast somewhere uh, I would say from Cape Canaveral down through about Miami. That's kind of the window right now but notice that cone how wide it is and how the storm looks like it's going to make a northward turn and we do expect that to happen uh, but again going to be a very strong hurricane as it nears the Florida coastline. There's a couple of reasons why we think the storm will continue to intensify. First and foremost, the water between uh, Miami all the way to where the storm is now, it's 80 degrees or warmer and it's very deep with the warmth too. So the storm, even though it's slow moving, will have a very plentiful supply of warm water to continue to strengthen. Also, there's very little in the way of wind shear uh, between Florida and where the storm is now. Shear usually knocks down the intensity of the hurricane and as of right now, we're tracking that shear to be weakening. So we expect that storm to continue to grow. So we'll talk more about that of course, of the coming days, uh, but for now we've got one cold front to talk about here in the Susquehanna Valley that will be rolling through later this evening and we'll watch for that stray shower chance. But once that passes through, we'll get into some nicer weather here as you go into your Saturday, but it does not last. Here comes an area of low pressure out to our west and by the time we hit uh, later on into Sunday, some showers and perhaps some waves of rain by Labor Day itself. And then of course we'll be tracking what Dorian does as we head into and through the Labor Day weekend down into Florida. So again, the next few days we'll be talking about uh, some decent weather, but then the shower chances Sunday and Labor Day itself, more showers and maybe a couple of storms by the middle of next week. But News 8 is the place to come for those updates on Dorian. And of course, if you have any interest in Florida and what it might do after it makes landfall. Certainly so. A lot of people have relatives yeah, and so. friends living there. A lot of attention on Dorian here this weekend. All right. We shall see. Thank Absolutely. you, Matt.